Welcome to BMW Today. Thanks for all your comments and likes. Today's topic, the power of choice. With me is Domagoj Tukits. He's head of BMW Design. Welcome. Hi, Eden. How are you? So which one would you choose? Definitely that one. Why are you going for the electric one? Yeah, it's our latest baby. Yeah, and I mean, we designers, we always look for a change. And it's like with this styling, it really brings a different flavor to the really uh, successful X3. Is the car coming like this or is it just a concept vehicle again? It is a pre-communication and it will come like this. Just the kidney will look a little bit different. Yeah, we will have clear double kidney. This was an exercise to show how sensors could be integrated. Why do those cars always have to have this blue icon stuff on a car? It doesn't have to, but it's the blue. It's the blue from the BMW logo. And for us, the blue stands really for blue sky and so for our pioneering uh, what BMW has really in, in, in the deep heart. And it shows cases really every innovative technology which we have. So electrification on X3 is completely new. Therefore, we highlight the kidney blue. I've checked it with Mini, by the way, Domagoy. They use yellow for the icon design. Blue was taken already by us. The plug-in hybrid in the middle. Is this the worst of both worlds or the best of both worlds? Because that seems to be a mix. I would say that uh, depends on the view of the customer. Yeah? For some customer, this is the best choice. And this is something where you have really the best of both because you have the uh, zero emission in town and you have the autonomy Really, you don't have to worry about uh, range because you have a normal uh, petrol car. This one is a bit outstanding. And why didn't you push even more design elements into it? Um, if I think on the i8, for example, that was a really crazy electric car. There was a different task. This is really the power of choice. We want to offer our customer who loves the X3. The X3 is the most successful product in our range. And there we want just to offer every kind of powertrain with a different flavor just. We want to keep it as a real X3. As you can imagine, I'm pretty much into the X3 and I love it. I've driven it. It's a real monster. Um, why do those cars look so different, but still, on the other hand, they're not very different? Again, power of choice. It's not just the power of choice of powertrains, it's also of aesthetic. And the customers are different. They look for different, they have different tastes. And here we believe that customers who go for zero emission, and it's still a different aspect. So they look for uh, the newest, the latest um, design issues. Can you imagine one of these cars in M and being electric, but keeping that look? I mean, the look would look a little bit different because what is so strong about M design is that it really combines functionality with a strong expression. And so if the powertrain is electrified, you, you also want to give the same expression, but it has to be authentic to the needs of the technology. We've got a question from the community. Will the rims exactly look like we can see in a concept car? The reason why they look like this, because we have for electric cars to combine lightweight and aero efficiency. For example, on this wheel, which is just for performance, you need the air to cool the brakes. There, with the electric powertrain, you already brake with the powertrain itself, and therefore the, the aero efficiency is much more relevant for the range. All right. Why does the vehicle have two charging flaps? We built the car for the whole world, and so there are different cultures, different uh, habits, and of course also different infrastructure. And so we can, with this uh, possibility, uh, offer really for each country the perfect uh, charging position. The power of choice. Is this just happening in the model range of the X3 or will there be more in the future? No, it will be more in the future. And because also in the core of BMW, we have some very elegant and sporty cars, like the 4 Series. And look there. We have the Concept 4 and the Concept i4. On the left side, the car as a coupe with combustion engine, the base of our future M4. And on the right side, the fully electric 4 Series, very clean and boldly designed. Wow, that looks promising. So leave a comment, drop a like, and thanks for watching BMW Today.